Two fat equations on the spot. The first one, x to the third power minus 64. The second one, x to the third power minus 64. X. They are super similar, right? Be sure you pause the video and try them carefully. Okay, let's do this one first. Let's factor out x to the third power minus 64. As we can see, we don't have the x in the second term, right? However, we shall notice that 64 is the same as 4 to the third power, isn't it? In another word, we can look at this as a difference of 2 cubes. And then after that, we can just use the formula to factor this out, right? So let me set this up for you guys. This is the same as x to the third power minus, for the 64, we look at this as 4 to the third power. And now we can apply that formula to factor this out. And the formula is right here, right? a to the third power minus b to the third power is that, right? Okay, let's go ahead and do it. We will have the first little parentheses, which we'll have to put down x minus 4. And this is the a minus b part for the first parentheses, right? And now for the second one, for the second factor, you know it's going to be x squared. You take the a, the first term in red, right here, right? So we will have the x squared, and it's going to be plus a b, right? This times that. And let's put down the 4 first, and then the x. And then the last term is going to be plus you have to look at the number in red, which is the 4, and square that. That's a b squared part of the formula, right? 4 squared is 16. And this is it. And once again, let me indicate this for you guys. To get the 16, we look at the 4 and square that. Okay? So this is it. This is how we factor out a difference of 2 cubes. And now, let's take a look at this one. x to the third power minus 64x. How can we factor this out? Well, we have x to the third power, and here, for the second term, we also have an x, right? So, be sure we factor out the common factor first, right? So let's go ahead and take out the x first. And for this term, originally, we had the x to the third power, but we took one of them out, right? So, we will just have x squared left. And for the second term, we took this x out already. That means we will just have minus 64. No more x. Just like this, left in the parentheses. Are we done? No, because here is x squared, and then this is minus 64. But you see, this is x squared. So right here, we have to look at the inside as a difference of 2 squares. Because we can also look at 64 as 8 squared, isn't it? So let me write this down again for you guys. x is just x stays all the way in the front for now, right? Okay, inside-wise, this one is going to be x squared, and then minus 64, we look at that as 8. We have to use 8 right here, because we have to do the squares, right? Look at 64 as 8 squared. x squared minus 8 squared, this is the difference of 2 squares, we can factor this out, once again, by using the formula, which is right here, okay? a squared minus b squared is a minus b times a plus b. Okay, don't forget this x, put that down. To factor this out, the first parenthesis is going to be x minus 8, and then the second one is going to be x plus 8. Okay, and that's it. We are done. This is for that, this is for that. Let me know if you guys got this right or not. That's it.